Hi guys, it's Alexis. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be filming a video about my surgery and as a lot of you guys know, I'm going to be getting scared. First surgery that I'm going to be having is Friday, the 26th. And I just want to inform of you guys what my surgery is about and what's it on. And if you didn't know, I was getting surgery on my hip and stuff like that also. And I want to let you guys know why I've been delayed on videos and why I am going to be delayed on videos. So, let's just get started. Basically, I recently found a tumor in my brain in my cerebellum. And I have the tumor in there and they started out about nine months ago now. And they started off with going through the surgery because I was having severe headaches. So, we went, to go, went ahead and got an MRI and they found a tumor in there. But it was pretty small and they said, okay, come back in three months. And if it is to get worse, then we would like to continue the surgery. And if it's not getting worse, then we're going to watch it. So we went back the other three months, and then it slightly grew, and they said, well, it barely grew, so we just want to see what happens and continue watching it. So I went back the next three months, and it grew a lot within that, the three month period. So they decided that they wanted to do brain surgery on me, which is um, a huge step, obviously, because the doctors want to do everything and anything they can to not do brain surgery. So they decided that I was going to do surgery. So lately I have been going to a lot of doctor's appointments and I've been getting my blood tested and just all that. I'm preparing for surgery. And this is such a big like journey and step for me because I never had surgery before or had any delays. And lots of my family has been very supportive and all my friends and I will be in the hospital for about a week. So I will be going into surgery on Friday, June 26th at 10.45 and the surgery is a six hour surgery and they are going to remove basically what it is and after that they're going to let us know so that's what's going to happen but when I go into the surgery I have to get anesthesia and it's going to be insane that is a bit freaking me out like anesthesia just freaks me out a lot in general because when you're in anesthesia like you're basically not really dead but you can't really do anything by yourself like you're not going to be able to breathe by yourself so there will be a breathing tube down my throat which is going to be crazy I'm a bit scared and I'm going to have to have a catheter and just all that stuff because I'm not going to be able to do anything by myself in the surgery. And the surgery will go on for six hours and after I get out of the surgery, they're going to keep me in the ICU for at least one night just to see how I'm doing. And if I'm doing good, they'll move me to a room which I'll stay in for three to five days just to get some food on how I work. And I will have to be able to use the bathroom all by myself. I'll have to be able to get up and walk around by myself. And if I'm not doing good with walking around, then they're going to bring in a therapist and they're going to help me walk. And there are so many side effects that could happen from this, obviously. Like, I might be sore on one side of my body because it's on the left side of my body. So I might not be able to function on the left side of my body. I hope everything goes good. And there's just a lot, a lot of side effects. And I may not be able to wake up from the anesthesia right away, which is not good at all. And during the surgery, they're going to have free time where they just breathe, like, to the brain tumor, I guess. Like, when they have a part of it and they're going to find out what it is. And that's basically all of it. Like, it's going to happen. And if I'm not doing good, um, after the surgery, I'm going to stay in there for longer. I'm hoping I'm not going to. And as I'm in surgery, another side effect, they're going to screw in my brain. Like, not screw in my brain, but they're going to hold my brain in place so it doesn't move in the surgery. So there's going to be two screws going in the, this side and one screw on this side. So those will be holes and scabs in my head. So that could also be another side effect. I'm imagining I'm going to be, and I'm going to be really sore with the incision. The incision will heal within three to four weeks because they're just double the surgery. So they're just going to seal it up, and luckily I do not have to get my head shaved for the surgery because they are able to put in this inside out hair with my hair. I don't know, they just move the hair around, but that's what's going to happen. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much everything that's going to happen. I will be staying overnight, obviously. And tomorrow, Thursday, my parents are going to take me out to eat before because I will not be allowed to eat like eight, eight, or eight to ten hours before the surgery. So I have to stop eating at 2.45 in the morning on Thursday. Obviously, I won't be up by that time because I'm already going to be up early because I have to get up at 10 o'clock, 8.45. So I have to stop eating and I can only drink liquids up to 6 o'clock because there could be no food or liquids in my system completely at all, which kind of stings. I don't know how I'm going to go the whole day without food. Like, I'm just going to die. I'm telling you this. And, yeah, that's basically it. So, I just wanted to inform you guys on my brain surgery, and that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, please.
week for Brie to come in the Merlin House to try and get back together as soon as possible. And if you guys would like to see a vlog day this journey, we could look at this video done with us. 